important thing as well make sure you journal hey guys what's good what's cooking welcome back to another video another day another banger another bum 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 you know yeah let's get down to business but if you're new here i'm chisoni and in this video i'm going to be talking about depression this will be part two of my depression experience and how i overcame depression so if you're interested in, in this video go ahead give this video a like comment and subscribe no further ado let's jump right into this video in this video i'm going to be talking about depression and this will be part two of my experience with depression and i'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff in this video if you're going through any type of depression or anything that's been bothering you lately i want to say that you are not alone you have everyone that's around you that loves you very much and just get help talk to somebody you can trust and you got it you will be out of it and you will be good and just trust in god and you'll see what i did to overcome my depression and how you can overcome your depression as well so if you're interested in this type of video please go ahead and give this video a like comment and subscribe and don't forget to share it with your friends and family guys if you enjoy the video so let's jump right in because I don't want to take up too much time. So let's let's go. Let me say what is depression. And depression is a mood disorder. And it is when you feel very sad and low in energy or self-esteem. And so if you're a female and you see your menstrual cycle, you will experience a slight of depression so let's jump right into this and know more about depression symptoms and more I have my notebook here guys so I'm going to be telling you guys all the teas and how to get back to your regular self and have joy and all those stuff so if you see me looking down no i'm looking in my notes i think i'm going to go in order so it's going to go like this different type of depression um the symptoms and things you can do to remove your depression so the first one will be um so as I said before, depression is a mood disorder where you feel like you cannot do things. You just feel like you want to lay in bed all day and you just don't have, you just don't have the energy. It's like your body cannot go any further. And so there are several different types of depression. So before I start to name all the types of depression, let me say this, that I never once thought in my lifetime that i would be in a depressive mood or feel like how i felt and like if you're all out there just know that one day you might end up in a situation and you might end up being depressed so if you see someone struggling with depression don't like just don't ignore them try to share a helping hand and give kindness love and try to help the person because you never know what might be going through their minds and all those stuff so let's name these seven different type of depression or a few type of depression that i know of so the first one is going to be about it's called clinical depression and this is when you're feeling sad low worthless and symptoms of these includes problem sleeping and loss of appetite and um, 
the next one we're going to talk about is the PDD and this one is called persistent depressive disorder and it is a mild or moderate depression that lasts for two years and if you find yourself in any of these categories I'm going to be telling you guys how you can probably you know get yourself out of depression symptom of the persistent depressive disorder is um you are less um served with a major depression disorder and they use usually called <laughs> hey y'all come look at this it is usually called pdd dysthymia <laughs> like guys don't come for me i cannot say these words but listen i'm trying to educate y'all out there so don't bother come for your sis or your girl okay this disorder is caused by chronic intense anger outbursts and this can happen in children under the age of 10 years old so if you have any siblings or you have a daughter or a son and you've seen any of these symptoms in any of your children then they probably have pdd which is precise persistent depressive disorder the next one is called premenstrual dysphobic disorder and it is called pmdd for the females this is where you have your premenstrual syndrome and every female will go through this once you have a JJ you're going to experience this because it is a part of the menstrual cycle or what the are the phase that we women go through and so this stage during your menstrual cycle is also called PMS and symptoms include mood irritable anxiety depression and will also improved after your period starts but can be severe enough and um it can be very severe to interfere with your life or your lifestyle um this depression can also be due to another medical condition such as heart disease parkinson's disease and cancer so make sure you guys are getting yourself checked out there you have this one called seasonal depression and this is when you you know when if you live in a, a country where you know you see winter summer and autumn um you will get depressed by the seasons and also this is a form of major depression disorder that typically arise during the fall and winter and usually goes away during the summertime and spring um so you know this probably happens to me a few times maybe not much but a little a little bit you know like if the sun isn't hot and you feel like you drain like you know you get that energy from the sun and when the sun is gone you just feel droopy sleepy during the day and like you know when rain about to fall and you get that little vibes i don't know if it's only me alone that happened to but if you experience that comment down below and let me know like when the sun isn't out you feel very drained like you cannot go throughout your day yes you can go throughout your day but just like you know you need the sun to give you more boost to do your activities you know what i mean and the next one is called prenatal or postpartum depression and this happens when you are are doing when you are pregnant or after postpartum when you like within four weeks of having a baby you will get depression like i think that's a symptom of postpartum it's called atopic depression which only has temporary moods 
which improves with positive events other symptoms is increased appetite and rejection sensitivity and more i think this is what most people end up in like feeling rejected by people around them and like just being home and eating all they can and getting fat like myself you know you know what i mean but yeah um so that's it for the types of depression so let's get into the symptoms and how you can help yourself from being depressed Here's a few list of symptoms I wrote down. Even though I did say the symptoms of some of the types of depression, I put down some type of depression symptoms that few people can actually feel or go through. So the first one is stressful life or difficult situations, um, medical conditions, um, death of a loved one or friends, low energy sleep changes feeling sad and hopeless eating disorder can't concentrate or make any decision of your own people can also cause your depression to come on you and just maybe your environment may be very depressing to you another thing also that can cause your depression like if you have like like any as i said anything that's been going on with you work your work can cause your depression family can cause your depression friends can cause your depression um anything you can think of can cause depression and it's it's like this it's like uh uh what do you call it no i don't know but something about it is not i don't like it at all and um as you can see this is a very what you call it hard topic or sensitive topic to talk about or maybe not sensitive but like i don't know if y'all noticed that a lot of persons have been going through depression lately and people are passing away as well because of depression and so i want to say that if you're in this thing please get help and please get help don't be scared to get help even though i know that we humans aren't easy at, at times sometimes you will like tell people what you're going through and then people use it against you but most of the time you have to take risks trust your gut and um you know just talk about it the more you keep it inside the more damage you'll be and the more damage you'll do so talking about it expressing yourself about it will actually help you to overcome this or make you feel a little bit better more than being stuffed up inside with all this anger loss sadness loneliness you know so get help speak to someone because speaking with someone will definitely help your symptoms or help your depression things you can do to overcome your depression will be be active like go for a walk or something you know make sure you'll be active during your day um eat healthy eat a healthy diet eat a healthy diet and um try something new get pampered go and get your nails done get your hair done get your eyebrows done if you can do those things do it yourself you know if you have a friend that you want to go out with then you know have a girl's day out go and do that um it will definitely help to relieve your stress and depression um change from negative thoughts and think positive if you constantly think negative then that's what you're going to be you ever hear the saying that your tongue your tongue is um what is saying go again whatever you say will happen so if you say whatever you say that's what you'll be i don't know if i'm saying it right but i'll put the words here 
once I find it I'm gonna put the words here so you can see what I'm talking about so think positive meditate on you know YouTube have some great meditation videos go ahead and try that out it definitely works that's one of the things that helped me I have this close friend or coach that definitely sent who sent me this video um, a motivational video you can do that guys listen listening on motivational things and positive things and you will be great trust me the next thing that will help is drink a lot of water because being dehydrated can actually make you feel depressed as well so make sure you're drinking your fluids guys and taking in a lot of water even if i even if you eat fruits like watermelon or you know get your water in guys it gets some laughter in too laughter will solve everything let me tell you i love to laugh and if i see something real funny i'm going to laugh so get your laughters in guys watch a movie even if you're not into the comedy movies try it out like it's not going to kill you like go ahead and try out the comedy movies or go out to a live comedy show you know get some laughter in because laughter will re release your whatever going in your brain or in your body yeah um yeah so get your laughter in the next one you should do as i said i mentioned this before hang out with your friends family or yourself go out get your nails done your feet done that's if you have the money you know uh, yeah um read a book you can read a book if you have a favorite hotter go ahead and read a book go to the beach that's if it's not winter we're going into summer now so if you're in the if you're in a depressive mood right now get yourself to the beach watch the sunset with your friends even if you want to go by yourself um and think positive thoughts while going there too so you know walk in the park i did that as well walking in the park will actually help relieve your stress and you know make your mood change because like it's spring now and you see the trees growing and that was m the beautiful thing of you know spring and walking in the park i did post a video of me in the park the other day so walking in the park can actually help meditate as i told you guys and the most important part i keep saying this in the video speak to someone and let the lord lead you you know just speak to someone and that person will actually help you motivate you push you to do better and you'll be surprised what you can do trust me and um that's all the things that helped me in oh one important thing as well make sure you journal get yourself a book listen guys i've been wanting to journal for a long time and since i've been depressed let me tell you guys that journaling listen i have two books two books and these books i write everything write down your feelings write down how your day is being write down how things went today write down all your activities what you could work on like make sure you journal guys because this really helps to relieve your stress and whatever is on your mind and yeah that's it guys just get yourself a notepad a notebook you can even journal on your phone there's apps you can do that with as well and yeah you'll get through this i you know feeling a little better you know yeah and um once you do all these things your confidence will boost your emotion will boost you'll be happy and not feel lonely again and all those things you'll be much much better so try out these things i told you to do guys and you'll be a little better if what i said didn't work then try to go to therapy or just speak to someone 
and you will be all right um if i overcame this you can overcame it too you know sometimes my mind goes back there but like controlling it will be good and you know yeah hmm and even though I want to talk to you guys about what caused my depression, I don't feel like I am ready to tell you guys about that yet. Probably do a story time. I've been saying this. I actually wrote something in the community tab talking about sharing a story time about it. But I don't feel like I'm ready yet to share it with you guys. But whenever I'm ready, you guys will see and know what caused it because like it's crazy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this world is crazy and people is crazy but guys just be careful out there um talk to someone you trust someone you really really trust and they will help you and don't think negative thought of doing anything think positive because doing that won't solve anything all you'll be doing is hurting your friends and family that's behind so please talk to someone and you will be all right and even take a break from social media take a break from social media like social media would make you mad depressed i'm telling you guys so take a break from social media enjoy yourself read a book um i don't know meditate pray and um just go outside and enjoy the beautiful nature that's outside and you'll be okay um this is the end of the video thanks for watching guys i really hope that this video helped you guys very much if it's even feel like motivate you guys to like you know work on yourself and do what i tell you guys you'll be okay and um comment down below and let me know which part of this video you enjoyed so far and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and um bye guys <laughs>